once upon a time, not long ago and not far away, there was a farm, and on the farm there was a goose. Find the goose near the windmill. And on the farm there was a horse. Find the horse in the barnyard. And there's the boot. Now look up. It's easy to find a goose and a horse on a farm. But I know of a circus with a goose and a horse and a clown. The circus is in a book, and the book is in a book bag, and the book bag is in the castle. That's where we'll go. I'll hurry over first and go in the back door so that I can let the drawbridge down and open the big front doors for you. Are you ready? Here's my castle. <laughs> side. And here's one little chair for one of you, and a bigger chair for two more to curl up in, and a rocking chair for someone who likes to rock. But now, look up. Way up. I'll call Rusty. Rusty. Hi, friendly. Hi, Rusty. How are you? Fine. We saw a goose and a horse on the farm. A goose and a horse? Mm hmm Oh! And I told everyone about the goose and the horse. In the book. In the circus. Yes. You know that book. I know that one. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good one. Let's call Jerome because he likes circuses. Mm hmm <whistles> Oh, he likes circuses very much. Here he comes. Hi, friendly. Hi, Jerome. Hi, Rusty. Hi. Well, we were talking about circuses. Circuses? Mm -hmm. Oh, I like circuses. We were talking about a circus with a horse and a goose. A horse and a goose, yes. Who ever heard of a horse and a goose in a circus? And a clown. And a clown? In a circus, a horse and a goose and a clown? Show him, Rusty. I'll show you, Jerome. Here it is. You have to help a little bit, oh. friendly. What's the clown's name, Rusty? Well, oh, there it is. Sad Eye, mm -hmm. the clown. Sad Eye, the clown. It's a circus story. Mm -hmm. Well, a goose and a horse. Well, you'll see. Let me put the book up where everyone can see it. I don't know this story. I didn't think so. Well, I know about circuses, though, with all kinds of camels and lions and tigers, but not a goose and a horse. Ah. Oh. Well, you just wait and see, and you'll see this clown and the goose and the horse. In a circus. There. Can you see the book? A little higher, friendly. Oh, there. there. Sad Eye, the Clown, a circus story written and illustrated by Nils Hogner. It's an Abelard Schumann book. The circus was coming to town. First, of course, came the parade. At the head of the parade came the band. And after the band came the circus people riding beautiful horses. Next came the camels with gaudy saddles. And then came the animal wagons pulled by heavy workhorses. And look, a giraffe. A giraffe, look, Jerome. Oh. After the animal wagons came the elephants with their keepers riding on the heads of the big animals. And at the very end of the parade came Sad Eye Jim, the clown, carrying Gazi the goose. They had to be at the end because Gazi had hurt his foot and was very lame. He couldn't keep up with the parade. So Sad Eye Jim and Gazi got all the dust kicked up by the elephants in front of them. Oh, see, there's the goose, Jerome. Oh, yes. That night, under the big tent in the circus, everybody was having fun except Sad Eye Jim. Gazi the goose was an important part of the act, and the clown couldn't perform without him. They sat together outside the tent, both looking very unhappy. Through the entrance of the big tent, Sad Eye watched the men swinging high up in the air on the trapeze. 
he saw the bareback riders in one ring, and he watched what? The seal. The sea lion. Sea That's lion. Sea lion. Yes. He watched the sea lion balance a ball on the tip of its nose. On his nose. Oh. He heard the boys and girls in the audience laughing gaily at the other clowns as they ran past the opening in the big circus tent. Sad-eyed, did not even smile. Oh. The ringmaster came and gently tapped him on the shoulder. People are asking about you, he said. The bareback rider and the snake man tried to cheer the clown, but sad-eyed Jim only sank deeper down in his chair, holding Gauzy the goose in his lap. The thin man and two small dwarfs came to talk to sad-eyed Jim, and at last Don Mustachio, the circus owner, started to look for sad-eyed Jim. He looked outside the tent and inside, but the clown and Gauzy the goose were nowhere to be seen. What do you think happened? I don't know. Don Mustachio was greatly worried about losing sad-eyed Jim and Gauzy the goose. I know. So uh -huh. he went out to look for him, and he came to a farm. Have you seen sad-eyed Jim the clown? The circus owner asked the farmer who lived on the farm. Well, what would a clown be doing here? The farmer replied. But I'll help you look for him. Together, Don Mustachio and the farmer wandered down the road, looking here and there. They passed many cows. Mm -hmm. See? They passed a flock of geese. But Gazi wasn't with them. Oh, Gazi wasn't in there. No. Oh. Soon, they came to the old rail fence. Don Mustachio had a great deal of trouble climbing the fence, but the farmer helped him. Oh. Well, said the farmer, there's Cyrus, my horse. The grass was so high that only the head and back of the horse could be seen. Suddenly, they saw a goose fly up onto the small horse's back. Oh, there he is. Oh, goodness me, said Don Mustachio. That's Gazi, the goose. And at the sound of Don Mustachio's voice, sad-eyed Jim jumped up out of the grass where he'd been hiding and started to run. Oh. He didn't want to be found because he didn't want to be in the circus if Gazi, the goose, couldn't be with him. That's right. But Cyrus, the horse, caught the clown's long coattails and held him fast. Here's the part I like. Poor sad eye tugged and tugged until suddenly one of his coattails ripped off. Oh! And the clown rolled oh. over and over on the ground. Oh, that's pretty funny. Gazi, the goose, still perched on the small horse's back, and he flapped his wings happily. Oh. And sad eye Jim got up again and tried to run. Oh. But Cyrus still had the other coattail. Yeah. What do you think happened? Well, all there. The clown tugged as hard as he could to get away, and there was oh. another rip, and off came the other coat. Oh. And Sad Eye Jim rolled over and over on the green grass. Whee! Oh. Clowns are good at rolling. Oh, that was funny. Well, this is terrible, cried the farmer. Oh. Well, this is wonderful, cried Don Mustachio as he ran and shook Sad Eye's hand. He liked it too. Mm hmm. To Cyrus's great surprise, Don Mustachio took a roll of bills out of his pocket. And he gave the farmer the money, and he said, My friend, Cyrus the horse has done us a great favor. Gazi the lame goose can now go back to the circus and ride. You must come yes. and see them, and you'll know what a clown does in the circus. And even sad-eyed Jim nearly smiled. You see, they bought Cyrus the horse. And Gazi doesn't have to ride and to walk anymore. The next afternoon, the big tent was crowded with people to see sad-eyed Jim the clown. And at the end of each of his new coattails, a lump of sugar was tied. Oh. Behind sad-eye came Cyrus the small horse with Gazi the goose in the saddle. As the clown rolled over and over, Gazi flapped his wings gaily, and Cyrus tugged so hard to get the sugar that both coattails came off one after another. The people at the circus thought this was the funniest thing they'd ever seen. And the farmer laughed and laughed, and the hot dog man oh. said, Red hot horses. Red hot horses. Oh. He was laughing so hard he forgot he was selling hot dogs. Who ever heard of red hot horses? Don Mustachio took off his silk hat and bowed, and behind him stood sad-eyed Jim, smiling. Gazi the goose honked, and Cyrus the horse whinnied, and all the other circus people cheered. Oh, there. that was good, friendly. Oh, you see? That was funny. The, mm -hmm. It was just an accident, wasn't it? Just an accident, Because yes. the horse bit the coattails of the 
clown and they tore off. Once Rusty and I, when we went to the circus, we saw an accident that was very funny. What? Tell him, Rusty. Well, this clown wanted to jump on the back of a horse. And he jumped too hard. Mm -hmm. He jumped right over the horse. Oh. And this, well, that's not all. Oh. He jumped so far over the horse that he ran into a, a man who was selling cotton candy. With a big card of cotton candy? Yes. Mm -hmm. oh. And he knocked him, he knocked him down, and both of them got cotton candy smeared all over them. Yeah. They weren't hurt. Oh, no, they weren't no. hurt, no. Because clowns are good at falling oh, down. Oh, yes, they? they weren't hurt, no. Well, do but you know? But it was an accident. It happened they, just by they, accident. They could do it again, and it would be just as funny if they did it on purpose. They could, couldn't mm -hmm. they? That's what happened in the book. Yes. Mm -hmm. They could do it again, and again, and again, and again. Sometimes if accidents don't hurt anyone. Oh, well, they were just rolling they can around. Be funny. Rusty, oh. would you get the giant oh, pipe, please? Right. Nobody was hurt. No. Here's the giant pipe. There. Ooh, I hung onto it too far <laughs> that time. Uh, are you trying to be a clown too? Oh, I think I he's a very funny clown. I could be a clown. Maybe you could, Rusty. What would we call him? Rusty the Clown. Oh, that'd be nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I could be the center pole of the big tent and hold it up. Yes. Or we could call you Sleepy Eye the Clown. Oh. Mm -hmm. Good night, Rusty. Good night, friendly. Good night, Jerome. Good night, friendly. It is late. This little chair will be waiting for one of you, and the rocking chair for another, who likes to rock, and the big armchair for two more to curl up in when you come again to our castle. Now I'll close the big front doors and pull up the drawbridge after you're gone. Good night. Good night.